My childhood is a little ruined right now. Yummy in my tummy. <laughs> what is up, everyone? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Vanessa, this is Matt, and this is Stephanie, and we are Candy Funhouse. Today, we will be taste testing and rating a few different drinks. Some of these are classic, some with a twist, and others are new and we've never seen them before. Let's get into it. First up, we have the Logan Paul and KSI Prime Hydration Drinks. Let's start with the Lemon Lime first. I'm excited about this one. I love Lemon Lime. It's very sweet. It's kind of like a lemonade almost, how sweet it is. Yeah. Yeah. Though I'm not gonna lie, it's really delicious. <laughs> Definitely is like very sweet. I think I could have the rest of this and that would be just enough. Next up, Blue Raspberry. It kind of tastes like the uh, like blue raspberry bubble gum. Mm. It's a weird blue raspberry flavor. Like I feel like mm. I'm tasting like liquid candy. I think that's why. Like it's, it doesn't feel like a drink. Yes. It tastes like a candy. Yes. Last, we're gonna try the tropical punch. Oh, that's nice. Like it's a fruit punch. This tastes like red Gatorade. I like Ooh. it. I get a little bit of a Kool-Aid. Yeah. Flashbacks to grade three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So overall, we are rating the prime hydration drinks a 7.1 out of 10. Next up, we have Wrap Snacks Lil Baby Owie Pineapple Mango Flavored. Cheers. Again, very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. I love pineapple mango, so this is right up my alley. Much more than the Prime was before. This <laughs> is like the perfect flavor for me. I love tropical flavors, but I wish there's more mango than pineapple taste. I was expecting and hoping for a little bit of carbonation. I don't know why my brain just oh, I auto look at went to like <laughs> pop. I feel like I'd enjoy it more if yeah. there was carbonation. I don't know why, Probably. but now it's definitely too sweet. I don't think I could finish that entire oh, thing. No. It's way too sweet for that. No, no. I could. In my opinion. <laughs> I fair. could do it. We will challenge you. We know you could. <laughs> I could do it for free. Overall, we rate it about a 5.8 out of 10. It's really good, but it's too sweet to drink all the time. All right, so we have another little baby owie. This one is sweet tea. Oh, you can smell it. It smells like nest tea, iced tea, <laughs> brisk. It tastes good. I don't know, I love it. It tastes like an iced tea. Yeah, absolutely very sweet. I prefer like a, a brisk, but I prefer this over nest tea. I prefer <laughs> none of the above. <laughs> I like the aftertaste of this right? more than the actual drink. When I drink it, <laughs> when I drink it, I'm like, mm, eh, it's okay. And then I stop drinking and I'm like, that was really good. And then I take another sip and I'm like, yeah, that wasn't very good. So overall, we're going to give it a 5.7 out of 10. Next up is Pepsi, mango flavored. I don't know how I feel about this. I love mango, so I'm really hoping that it's good. I also love mango, oh. so I'm hoping that it's good but I am concerned. I absolutely love Pepsi. I've loved every flavor of Pepsi that I've tried thus far. Why would this be any different? Ooh, it smells kind of tropical. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes it does. Didn't have any coffee this morning and I just got a little, Ooh, just a little bolt of energy. I don't get a whole ton of mango. It's just like a little, like it's kind of tropical slight. flavor versus yeah. mango. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest, I've had a lot of different flavors of Pepsi and I don't think this is one of the stronger ones. So I do think it's good, but it's just kind of not really getting me as excited as something like cherry flavored. And you yeah. still have that Pepsi like flavor. Oh yeah. With just a little splash of mango. I don't know, I think it's, I do think it's really good. I think my concern with it was, like you said, like cherry, I don't know, cherry seems to work with like darker flavor pops. Mm -hmm. So I was like, how are they gonna mix a tropical flavor with something that's such a Dark. darker flavor? Yeah. I'd drink it again. I sure. would too. Yeah, I'd enjoy it. Definitely would, it would finish that, yeah. Yeah, right, like I'd finish yeah. it, yeah. But I don't know if it'd be my go-to all the time. Exactly. But definitely, yeah, I'd go to the beach, grab a nice tropical Pepsi. There you go. Mm -hmm. So for the Pepsi mango, we are going to rate this a 7.3 out of 10. Next up, we have Mountain Dew's Flaming Hot. Nervous. How do you make a drink like hot, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I am open to trying any flavor of Mountain Dew, but I gotta be honest, while I love spicy food, I don't know about spicy drinks. Yeah. Spicy drink seems a little, right. a little weird. I mean, yeah. yeah. I usually call things with like carbonation, spicy, a spicy yeah, drink. Yeah. So now this is like a, an actual spice. spicy, spicy drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. That tastes like nothing. They tried to make a cold drink 
spicy. So I feel like it just kind of canceled uh, each other out. <laughs> That's kind of what it tastes like it to tastes me. It tastes like orange lime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was expecting it was going to be kind of hot, and then I remembered, oh yeah, it's a it's a cold beverage. Spice. I'm, nope. I'm trying to even like see if I feel like a heat aftertaste. Oh, there is a heated aftertaste. It's it's called mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm heated that there's nothing <laughs> here. There's nothing happening. I don't know. It's it's a little bit more bubbly than other pop, I guess maybe. But like, even as I say that, I'm like, it, is it even really? Is it more carbonated? I don't Not know. Really. Like, it, it also isn't. It just <laughs> tastes like an orange lime. Yeah. Muted soda, yeah. like a disappointing yeah. orange lime. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna rate it a 2.4 out of 10. Yeah. We expected so much more. Yeah. And we got so much less. Yeah. Next up, we have Chubby. I love Chubbies. I grew up on Chubbies. This one is Cream Scream, which is like cream soda. I honestly haven't had them in years, though. I was I was definitely a kid last time I had it, so I can't remember all the flavors and how they tasted, but I just remember loving them when I was young. I've had them, but they weren't like a staple part of my childhood. It was a staple part of everyone around me, <laughs> but not mine. Yeah, it gives me flashbacks to like being uh, on a hockey team when I was 10 years old, where somebody's dad brought a bunch of these and was like, hey, dig in, and yeah, these are great. So yeah. it's giving me a lot of nostalgia right now. Oh, it doesn't really smell like cream soda. Though. No, it doesn't. It smells kind of like perfume. Uh-huh. That is not good. I don't like that at all. It, it's, it's bubbly perfume. I'm a little disappointed. My childhood is a little ruined right now. You know, I'm, I, for some reason, maybe it's just because I just tried it, but I feel like this was the flavor I stayed away from as a kid. Yeah, Tastes like my grandma's house. <laughs> yeah. And it, that's where it's bringing me back to. Yeah. Like the taste and the smell is bringing me back to being yeah. a child okay. in my grandparents' house. Yeah. Um, but you want to hang out at your grandparents' house. You don't want to drink it. 1.9? 1 1.9. 1 1.9 out of 10 for the grandma's house <laughs> chubbies. Chubbies, other flavors, we love you, but cream scream? No. No, we don't. We do not. Next up, we have a white grape sangria drink from Japan. There's little grapes in it. I am like in love with the fact that there's actual grapes in the drink. I love that. You know what the little wine grapes? How that's kind oh, of got I that little bit of tart? Oh, this yeah. has that little bit of tartness to it. I'm, I'm in love. This oh, yeah. is so good. There's no carbonation. It's just a grape juice, basically. Yeah. Where was this when I was a kid? Why, why, did I, <laughs> why, did I get, why didn't I get this instead of Kool-Aid? Because you didn't go you know? Japan. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> there you go. So for the white grape sangria, we are rating this a 7.5 out of 10. It's exactly what it promises to be, and it's good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Warhead's Soda in green apple and watermelon. I love Warheads. I love sour. When so they came out with this drink, it was like, yes! <laughs> Let, let's try green apple first. Like it just starts with that like sour zammer at the beginning. <laughs> but then it hits with sweetness after. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's good. I do like that. It feels like you're going through the experience of having a Warhead candy. Like you get that like sourness as soon as you put it in your mouth and then it like mellows out with the sweetness as yeah. you keep yeah. eating it. It kind of punches you in the face and then gives you a hug. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Let's go watermelon. Hmm. <laughs> Every time I take, it, I take the sip and I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Enjoying it. I feel like I can recognize it right before it punches me in the face. <laughs> I'm like, oh, watermelon. <laughs> and then I get a hug. And then it's just nice. I love it. I think they're great. Not a beverage I'd have every single day, but absolutely delicious, fun drink to try and enjoy every once in a while. Well, I would go like a 6.2. I think it's I think it's good. Um, like, you know, I, I wouldn't drink the whole can, but I enjoyed what I had of it. That's criminal. The Warheads are have been my favorite. For me, pushing, like, hitting the eight category, like heading up that way, 8.1 overall. And the thing is they have a nice, like, flavor selection too. It's they have the five flavors so you get to like marry it up and stuff. Yep. 
<laughs> Keep in mind too, we've also just had Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot and Chubby's Cream Soda, and it's making a bit of a <laughs> concoction of some sort in my stomach right now, and I'm a little scared. So, yeah. AKA Matt's rating is not accurate enough. <laughs> yeah, Matt's rating is not accurate. So, cancel me out. Cancel yeah. him out. We're saying overall 8.1. There you go. Warhead Soda. <laughs> oh, did that do it? You did it. I did, did, did it. it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Hata from Japan in a blueberry flavor. Oh, it smells blueberry. like a blueberry marker. <laughs> it smells so good though. It's like sweet. It's very light, like mm -hmm. the flavor. Yeah. It tastes like soda water with just a splash of like blueberry. Yeah, I like this. It's it's, it's a nice, you know, hot day. Run into a convenience store. You need something to drink. You find yeah. this. Oh, what is this? Can't open it, but it tastes fantastic. <laughs> the more I'm drinking, though, the sweeter it's getting. Agreed. So I like that the bottle only comes with like so much of it. Because I think if it was a bigger container, I wouldn't be able to drink all of it. No, that's fair. I think I could finish this, but like you said, yeah, it seems to be sweeter the more sips I take. So 5.8 out of 10 for the really cool opening. Decent drink ish. Next up, we have the the Ghost, which is the Sour Patch Kids energy drink. The flavor is red berry. And it's actually zero sugar. I know, for it to be like Sour Patch Kids, you probably expect like so much sugar. Never tried an energy drink. It before. smells like a red Sour Patch Kids. It smells exactly like them. Oh, yeah. How? <laughs> Boy. Like, I feel like. Like it's popsicle or freezy or something. Mm hmm I like it though. Mm. It tastes like a red freezy, but then you get the little like on your tongue because of the like carbonation. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, and I guess red freezies also taste like sour patch kids because it also does taste like a red sour patch kid. I like just taking a handful of red sour patch kids, so this is great. I, I really enjoy it. No, oh, this is a like a pretty could, big can, but I could probably finish it. I think that I could. <laughs> I did. I just drooled. Yeah. So excited to try all the drinks. He's just drooling over here. Like it's pretty big can, but I do think I could finish the whole thing. Could I have multiple in a day? No. No. One for sure. I would honestly probably choose this flavor again. It was really good. Mm-hmm. Yummy in my tummy. It's almost like I was drooling over it. I liked it so much. So overall, we are giving the Sour Patch Kids Ghost Red Berry an 8.6 out of 10. Yeah. I'm pleasantly surprised. I really liked it. Next up, we have Miracle Energy B, which is an energy drink from Japan. I just feel eh the whole time. Red Bull, like that vibe, like it tastes like an energy drink. Get the energy with every sip, it's like yeah. that. You know you're drinking energy. Drink. This just is like, yeah. But that's what I mean. I feel like it's like when we had the Mountain Dew Flaming Hot, like it's like the nothing. I, when I took a sip of this, the first sip, I was expecting the energy drink to like give me just motivation and my third eye to just open up and then I just see the world through a new lens. I just, I feel nothing. I feel sad. Yeah. 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 I, I don't feel energized. I actually feel worse after <laughs> after drinking this. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like anything. No. And honestly, it has kind of like an aftertaste that I don't enjoy. It, it's a weird muted aftertaste yeah. and yeah. jury taste. <laughs> and before taste as well. <laughs> Maybe this will give me energy, but it definitely didn't give me any flavor. We're gonna give it a 3.5 out of 10. And that's it's, it. It's just, it, it is, but it's not. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you really enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you wanna see us do next. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put videos out every Wednesday and Friday. This is Candy Funhouse and, and Sweet, sweet times, times Live Here. here.